You know, St. John Bosco wrote in his, in his memoirs about the church that he had undertaken to build in, in Rome at the behest of Pope Leo XIII. Remember Pope Leo XIII was elected in 1878. At that time, Don Bosco was already an old man. Don Bosco was to die just five years later, I believe. And he accepted a commission, accepted a commission from Pope Leo XIII to raise the funds to build the Basilica of the Sacred Heart in Rome, a church that is very dear to my own poor heart, actually. And someone asked St. John Bosco why he, in his advanced age and debilitated condition, accepted an arduous task of going around, traveling around, trying to raise the funds to build that basilica. And he said, the reason why I accepted this commission from Pope Leo XIII was because at some future time, priests will go out of that church and preach the gospel in Rome. And he said this as though this was going to be something extraordinary. The priests will go out of that church and preach the gospel in Rome. He indicated it would be like renewing or replanting the seed of the gospel in Rome, which had lost the faith. That's an extraordinary prophecy. It was in that same church, by the way, that St. John Bosco was offering Mass again. You're talking about the, the final days of his life here. And he had a vision. He had a vision of the future of the church. And he broke down, he just broke down weeping at the altar. He couldn't carry on with the Mass. And if you go to that altar today, there's a magnificent, gigantic picture of Mary, help of Christians there. As you stand at that altar, just to your left is a plaque on the wall in Italian which commemorates that vision of St. John Bosco that made him weep, just envisioning the future of the church and the sorrows, you know, the, the, the tragedies, which is exactly what we're trying to face now, what we're trying to get people to face, you know. But we want people to face the reality of it. All they have to do is go, and go to that altar and look at that plaque and read about that vision of St. John Bosco. It's not long, but it just acknowledges the truth of what he saw.